not the ex-yacht we've come to know. Gone is the traditional slender hull with pinched coach roof, replaced by this muscular chassis with twin wheels, blunt bowsprit, wide coach roof and hull windows, while below hangs a T-keel attached to a carbon grid. X have a decorated pedigree of cruiser races, but a new performance line has been a long time coming. Was it worth the wait? Inside certainly seems inviting. Modern and spacious with so much more light than X's of old. The nav station is mounted on a track, so it can slide back to extend the starboard berth and the central saloon seat moves to suit purpose. Smart and comfortable perhaps, but options are limited and it's a one layout only in satin finished tea. There it is though, that's what this boat is all about. Speed and power patent from the off. The mixture of balance and pace upwind is truly impressive, where she proved easy to keep in a groove, even when pressed. With so much focus on stability and an IRC rating of 1.151, she could prove highly competitive on the regatta circuit. The XP really is a sensation to helm and fun for race crews alike. In the feisty Solent conditions, we set the symmetrical spinnaker pulled back and ran at over 12 knots. Comfortable to stand to windward or leeward. The deck layout also deserves praise. Especially the control lines led to cleats on the coach roof each side, for crew to trim from the rail. In short, this is an X yacht, so with all the options, it doesn't come cheap. But the 44 does deliver uncompromising performance. It'll be interesting to see if the shorter rig, teak-decked cruising version, puts enough sheep's clothing on this veritable wolf.